Hello, my name is Grandma Jenny Haywood. I published children's book with a difference. Uh, what is the difference, will you say? I write only what the children tell me to write, what they are interested in. Today, I have a special guest for you. His name is David Zhang. He's most likely the youngest scientist in North America today. Not quite registered yet, but just about. Wait till you see his story about nuclear power in my next book coming out in a few weeks. And welcome to NTV, David. Hello. What uh, can you tell us about when did you decide that science was for you? Well, I was around 10 years old. I liked to, uh, I had this interest in how the universe worked. So I picked up chemistry and nuclear power is one of the branches. Can you elaborate a little bit? I know you don't want to go and explain the whole story that we are going to publish, you and I, but tell us about nuclear power. How does it work? What is it all about? Well, nuclear power, it has uranium-235, and then a neutron gets absorbed into the nucleus. The nucleus becomes unstable, it splits, it releases a few neutrons and a lot of energy. We harness that energy by boiling water, turning turbines, producing electricity, and yeah. Is it cheaper to produce nuclear power than the regular hydropower? Well, it's cheaper than gasoline and coal because a pound of uranium will, will release as much energy as several million gallons of gasoline. Just imagine a pound of butter, let's say, on the table here. Yes. It wouldn't be very big. Now, let's transform this into uranium. Uranium, what damage can it do? Well, for maybe 20 pounds of uranium, it'll blow up a city. Oh, that's a lot. Now, what uh, are the advantages? I don't like to just talk about the idea of destruction. What are the benefits of uranium? Well, as explained earlier, a pound of uranium will equal several million gallons of gasoline. And um, it doesn't create any um, like bad gases. You know how we're all talking about like acid rain and so carbon clean, dioxide? Clean energy then? Um, not exactly, because after the uh, fuel is spent, the f waste is still radioactive and still toxic. What would you suggest be done with that toxic waste? Well, right now they're still researching it, but as of now, they're burying it within mountains. And I don't suspect this is the solution. Can you think of something else? Now, you don't have to tell the secret right now. I suspect you will think of a better idea. Uh, do you know when uranium was discovered? Mm, no, but... Think of the French Revolution, 1789. Did you already publish a scientific paper, either at your school or on your own? Uh, I don't think so, no. But you will in my next book. Do you get the support of your family, David, in your enterprise, in all those scientific projects? Yes, my mom was a biologist. Oh, wonderful. Is... That helps, doesn't it? Yes. Are you a good reader? Yeah. How do you do your research? Well, whenever I find some topic that I'm interested in, I just usually just Google it, or maybe I just go up an encyclopedia. That's good. And you have a lot of books at home? Uh, not really, no. You can go to a library. Yeah. I encourage children to go to libraries. What grade are you in right now? I am in grade 8. And you are not uh, always uh, studying, surely. What are your hobbies? Well, I like to go outside and like play. Maybe. Sports? Yeah, I go to karate. I go to scouts. Oh. Oh. Um, well, that sounds interesting. Do your friends share your enthusiasm for science? Um, some do. I have several friends that do go to scouts. And I have several friends that go to karate with me. So. And they are interested in science as well? Well, some of them are, yes. Some of them are. Uh, in your research, you, what do you prefer, the library or the internet? Internet. It's faster, yes. isn't it? So, are you a fast reader? Um, I'll say I'm probably medium. Yeah, so you are getting there. Uh, 
did I ask you? No. What school do you go to? I go to Oak Ridge. Which is in what city? Which is in uh, St. Catharines. What are your plans for the future, David? What uh, career-wise, what are you going to... We know it's going to be science, right? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about a chemical engineer yeah. or maybe a doctor. Oh, and you will succeed in either one, I'm, yes. I'm sure. Uh, do you think uh, you will win a Nobel Prize one day? Mm. I think you will. Maybe. In fact, I'm sure you will. Uh, what might we read about David Zhang in the year 2020? I might not be here to interview you, but... Well, I'm not sure if I'll write a, up like a document, but mm, I'm not sure. Do you agree that children literature should carry longer sentence and bigger words that I'm promoting that? Well, it depends. Like if you're, it depends on your age group. You don't yeah. want like massive words in like three-year-old books. No, that would be a little bit difficult. Well, I sure appreciate you having come for this interview, David, and we will meet again. Thank you very much. We will see to be you here. again. Thank you, David.